what up guys we have a review of him from Donatali as you can see he's become an 85 rated striker to an 86 rated striker now the question is is he worth your money well uh let us take a good look at his stats now he's got 95 dribbling personally i think that's meant and uh his cross is pretty good for a striker he's got 85 and he's got a curve of 92 so his finesse is it's it's superb it's crazy and he's got a finishing of 96 free kick accuracy of 90 now he's heading a shit probably because of his height but he's heading a shit 64 we're not after that his long shots are 92 that's that's crazy that is that <laughs> that is crazy now uh penalties are 91 so uh shot power is 90 volleys are 92 and uh, his acceleration is crazy, so he can easily make that sprint, that huge burst of speed. And uh, with that 94 acceleration, but due to his sprint speed being 85, he will calm down and, you know. But if you're a pace whore, he may not be fast for you, but he is pretty fast for me. And he's pretty good. And uh, something else we should talk about is his vision, his attacking position. Personally, I think he plays better as a striker. But um, he doesn't have all the qualities. In other words, he doesn't have very good heading stats. So you can also play him as Cam because he has awesome, awesome um, ball distribution skills. As you can see, he's got 82 passing, which I personally think is on another level. He's crazy, especially when he's a striker. I mean, passing is not needed on a striker, but Di Natale can pass. I mean, everything on him, on him is perfect, except the heading. The heading is really fucked up. It's pretty annoying when you cross the ball. If you're playing a 4-3-2-1, where you cross the ball and he's the only one in the box. And <laughs> defenders like Dede Santana and David Luiz overpowers, overpower his ass in the heading contest. But anyway, this has been this review. Now we have to go into the gameplay review. What I want to say is that Di Natale is crazy. He is crazy. I'm not a pace whore, and I can say that his pace is quite satisfying. He makes runs, and his work rates seem, just seem to help him out a lot. He has very high attacking work rate and very low defensive work rate, so you'll hardly see this guy go back. He's a perfect striker, but uh, not so perfect because of his head and stats. But nevertheless, his long shots are crazy. I mean, he's, he's, his long shots are insane, and it's pretty sad that... Uh, goalkeepers actually most of the time can't do anything against his long shots the only way they can escape it is if you're horrible at long shots and don't know how to aim it or if your goals hit the bar but fortunately for me i scored a lot of long shots with dinatali i mean another player that i've scored a lot of long shot with is inform bell and you can also check that out it's another informed review of bell he's crazy at long shots now dinatali can rival bell um can rival his long shots but Dintali is simply superb he can pass look at that pass he can shoot he can score his finesse has that crazy curve and his long shots just leave you breathless like when he shoots the ball just soars out of the goalkeeper's reach into the net I, it, it's, it's like he aims for the topmost corner and it has the dip and it has the shot power the speed literally the goalkeeper can most of the time not do nothing about it i, I really enjoyed playing with dinatali i really really enjoyed playing with him he was crazy at first i used to use mickley but then i thought why not use the dinatali now well i got my dinatali for 500k i got him straight away i'm, I'm don't don't be don't be dismayed his price is gonna drop now that team of the year attackers are coming out his price will drop down drastically you could probably get him for 200 not nah, 200k yeah you could probably get him for 200k or you could probably get him for 400k well compared to his 85 rated card i would say this is a little bit of a boost to it he does play really good and his finesse is it's crazy. I think his finesse is the best feature here. And his long shots are insane. I mean, his normal card could, could score long shots. But damn, this the long shot on this card is simply overpowered. Now, you're probably asking, how do I score long shots? I will make a tutorial on how to score long shots. To me, they're easy. I've always found long shots easy ever since FIFA 12. They seem to work better for me. Now, we have to go through the pros and cons of this card. His passing is awesome. His shooting is awesome. He's got very nice pace. He has crazy dribbling. His long shots are off the chart. His finesse is out of this world. His power-driven shots, 
scare the crap out of goalkeepers and he is just freaking awesome now the cons he is too weak and uh he can he cannot head for shit alone in the box with david Luiz and santana and dede on his ass he's probably gonna lose i mean once in a while he will get the usual headers that kind of leave you baffled like how the hell did that short ass player head the ball once in a while but nevertheless his head is shit Dinatali scores a 9 out of 10 in my opinion. I mean, I could give him a 9.5. I'm not going to round off if that's what you think. No, 9.5. I would give him a 9.5 if he could head. That sounded really dirty and wrong. I, I would give him a 9 out, 9 out of 10 if he could score nice headers. But he cannot, so he is not the perfect striker. He's got awesome passing. He can shoot. He's brilliant, but his head is shit. And he is, right now, kind of too expensive. But you can just calm your horses, and his price will go down, and you can get yourself a Di Natale. Well, the uh, upgrade from his normal card to the Inform is quite noticeable, in my opinion. Some people say it's not, but I just played, and I feel it. Have I used the other card? I used it for a day. You know, just to review the inform, I quickly bought the normal card and I tested it out. He played good, but the inform was pretty much insane to me. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, leave your comments on who I should review next. It's all up to you guys. And if you really want more info and more details on news to come about videos I'll be uploading, you can like and follow me on Twitter and just like my Facebook page. It's in the... Uh, description below so guys have a wonderful day and uh you know see you guys soon